Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve practice problem 4.7 from H's book. Determine I1 and I2 in the circuit of the figure 4.21. So we will have I1 and I2 is here, but I think we need one more loop, right? In this loop here. So let's just name this loop as I3. And now we have I1, I2, and I3. So we have three loops. So we can form three equations that we can solve. Okay, now let's do KVL at loop one. Okay, what does KVL say? KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. And we can start from this 10 volt voltage source. So the arrows going from negative to positive, so the sign will be negative and the value is 10. And then this 4 ohm, so I'll have 4. And now because we are focusing on I1, so I1 will come first. But then I2 is flowing to the opposite direction, so minus I2. And now let's move on to this 3 volt voltage source. But now the arrow is flowing from the positive side to negative side. And that means that the sign will be positive. So plus 3. And that will equal to 0. Right? Okay, now some algebraic manipulation. Minus 10 plus 3 will be minus 7. And then plus for I1 minus for I2. And that equal to zero let's move this seven to the right hand side so i will have four i1 minus four i2 is equal to seven okay we can do no more thing here so let's save this as equation number one and now let's move on to the other loops let's do loop two kvl at loop two okay KVL said that the sum of the voltage will equal to zero and we can start from this 4 ohm resistor. So I will have 4 but now we focusing on I2 so I2 come first and I1 flowing to the opposite direction so minus I1. Okay so now let's move on to this 5 and 9. Because this is in series, we can just add them up. So I will have 14, right? Because 5.9 is 14. So I'll have 14 and the only current that passed through it is I2. Okay. And then this 10 ohm resistor, I will have 10. But now we're focusing on I2. So I will have I2 come first. But here I3 flowing to the opposite direction. So I'll have minus i3 and all of this will equal to zero okay let's do some simplification okay what can we do for i1 i think i only have minus for i1 from this bracket and for i2 i will have 4 plus 14 so i will have 18 and then 18 plus 10 so i will have 28 so i'll have 28 i2 then, for I3, I only have this one. So, I will have 10 multiplied by minus 1. So, I will have minus 10 I3. And that will equal to 0. Okay. Yeah, I think we can just set this as equation number 2, right? Yeah, did I make mistake? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, let's do KVL at the last loop, which is loop number three. So I'll have KVL at loop three. What is KVL at loop three? So I will have the sum of voltage will equal to zero. And for this voltage source, the current is flowing from negative to positive, so minus three. And then for this one, I will have 10 but now i3 come first because we are focusing on loop 3 and i2 is flowing to the opposite direction so i'll have minus i2 then 
for this one and seven i just add them up to be eight right because they are in series and the current that pass through it is only i3 so all of this will equal to zero and let's simplify this i will have minus 10 i2 yeah minus 10 i2 right and then for i3 i will have 18 i3 10 plus 8 so 18 18 i3 and minus 3 we move it to the right hand side so i will have 3 on the right hand side okay so number 3 and 3 equation 3 variables should be fine right let's write the matrix form of it 4 minus 4 and 0 and then minus 4 28 and minus 10 and then 0 minus 10 and then 18 okay and the unknown factor will be i1 i2 and i3 and then the result factor will be 7 0 and 3 yeah 7 0 and 3 so now we need to solve for this one let's just use our casio calculator okay let's clear the map and we need to use equation with three variables so number two let's enter all of the elements so four minus four and then zero and then the augmented part so i will have seven then minus 4 28 and then minus 10 and then 0 yeah 0 and then 0 again then minus 10 and then 18 and then 3 okay oh this is x x is i1 right so i will have 2.219 yeah 2.22 i think 2.22 ampere so i1 will be 2.22 ampere and then i2 what is i2 let's show the y that is 0 0.4698 yeah maybe i can just uh, round it up into that one right so i will have 0 0.4798 ampere or that will equal to 470 milliampere and for i3 what is i3 i3 is 0 0.428 yeah i think 0 0.428 0 0.428 ampere or that will equal to 428 milliampere and the result that us in the problem is for i1 and i2 so i highlighted yellow here and that's all thank you for watching and see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and bye bye